If you thought all birth control was the same, think again. Welcome back for part two of the least effective birth control options. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. In the last video, we covered the first four birth control options that fall into the category of worst birth control. This video will cover the other four options. They are menstrual timing, spermicide, the sponge, and the withdrawal method. These options are statistically the worst because they're only about 70 to 85% effective at preventing pregnancy. That's not great, but remember, they have other positive qualities that might make them the best for you. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Menstrual timing, also known as fertility awareness and natural family planning, is the method that involves tracking your menstrual cycle very closely to try and guess when you'll ovulate, which is to release an egg, then abstain from sex around that time. Otherwise, you have sex whenever you want due to the low chance of becoming pregnant. This is one of the easiest and hardest methods to use. It's easy by the fact that there are no extra steps to consider during intercourse. It's difficult because menstrual cycles are complex and not on a perfect schedule. So you may not ovulate on the day you expect, and you won't know exactly when the window for becoming pregnant after ovulation is closed. It is not invasive and anyone can use this method since it's essentially just knowing your body very well. It's hormone free and does not affect menstruation. There are no health benefits, risks, or side effects. You must remember to monitor your cycle for it to work, but you can change your method anytime. It's not private because you'll likely need to tell your partner so they know what days are off limits. Spermicide is a general term for various gels, creams, and foams that can be inserted vaginally before sex that contain chemicals that will prevent the sperm from traveling into the uterus to meet the egg. It can be used on its own, but it's usually recommended to be used with another method such as a condom. It's required to be placed deep in the vagina at the cervix, but is relatively easy once you learn how. It is not invasive. You should not use the product if it causes irritation or an allergic reaction. It is hormone free and it does not affect menstruation. It doesn't have health benefits, but unfortunately it does have health risks and side effects. If it causes vaginal irritation, then you'll have an increased chance of catching a sexually transmitted infection if your partner has one. It can also be messy to apply and clean up. You have to remember to use it every time and it is reversible because it only works for intercourse in that moment. It is not the most private because you have to pause and apply it. The sponge is essentially a combination of spermicide and the cervical cap, except rather than being a plastic cup, it is literally a foam sponge. It blocks the cervix and contains spermicide. And like the cap and diaphragm, once you learn to use it, it can be easy to place at the cervix. It is not invasive. You should not use it if you know you or your partner are sensitive to spermicide or have an allergy to the other products in the sponge. It is hormone free and will not affect menstruation. It has no health benefits, but carries similar risks and side effects as the spermicide, including the increased risk of STIs if the spermicide causes irritation. You have to place one every time you have sex, so it is reversible. And it's somewhat private because you can insert it hours before sex but your partner may feel it or people may see your supply of sponges. The withdrawal method is the method that requires your partner to remove their penis before they ejaculate. One very important aspect to know about this method is that the small amount of seminal fluid that is released before ejaculation, commonly known as pre-cum, contains sperm and can lead to pregnancy. So even if your partner withdraws and ejaculates elsewhere, you may still become pregnant. Like menstrual timing, this method is both easy and difficult. It's easy because it doesn't require anything extra or different, but what makes it hard is that when you're in the heat of the moment, it can be very difficult to remember to suddenly stop having sex and have your partner ejaculate elsewhere. This method is also problematic because it's not necessarily in your control and requires a lot of trust that your partner will stop in time. It is not invasive and anyone can use this method. It's hormone free and does not affect menstruation. It has no health benefits, risks, or side effects. You must remember to use the method every time, but you can change your method anytime. It is not private because your partner will need to agree to stop before ejaculating. Now that we've covered the worst, we'll move on to the group of birth control options that are in the mid-range of effectiveness at preventing pregnancy. 
Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.